It's time for... Tech News! Hi, Tech News, I'm Dad! <laughs> I just, um, uh, sorry, I'm still working on the dad joke thing. You'll get there. <laughs> oh, so you thought AMD's Threadripper was already ripping threads as hard as it could. Well, guess again! Idiot! After much leaking, AMD has officially unveiled Threadripper Pro, Pro processor. Pro, Pro. <laughs> but if you are looking forward to upgrading your own ridiculously overpowered personal PC, bad news, they'll only be available in select pre-built workstations. The $4,600 Lenovo P620 is the only system featuring the chips that's announced right now, although Asus and Gigabyte are reportedly working on their own units. If your company does spring for the new models, though, you can look forward to 27% higher performance than Intel best competitor, the Xeon Platinum 8280. So if you've got one of those in your workstation, man. Your threads are ripped. I feel sorry for you. That I Platinum 8280? That thing sucks, man. That's you're a loser. You'd think that you'd think that ARM, the British company making chip designs for Apple, Qualcomm, Samsung, and an unholy number of IoT devices, is doing just fine. But apparently, they're not making good enough returns for the Japanese company that owns them. SoftBank is reportedly considering selling off ARM or bringing it public at the same time that ARM is raising the licensing fees for its processor designs by as much as four times, according <laughs> How about to an arm and a leg. <laughs> BAM! Dad jokes. Get them! According to some of the company's customers. I expect them to also ask ARM employees why they're taking lunch breaks and going home at 5 p.m. It's like they don't even care. It could be that now that Apple has publicly announced its shift to ARM-based desktop processors, SoftBank thinks it has the leverage to get some extra moolah out of their investment. In any case, profits are only set to increase for ARM as a former head of Mac development has predicted that Microsoft basically has no choice but to ramp up development of its own high-end ARM-based solutions. Which is, that's really bad news for Threadripper Pro. I mean, they just got announced and now it's gonna be all ARM. It's gonna be all ARM. Shouldn't have skipped leg day, I guess. And we've talked about AMD and ARM, now on to Intel, whose upcoming Alder Lake desktop processors may feature the same hybrid design seen in Intel's mobile-focused Lakefield architecture. Lakefield's hybrid design refers to processors with assorted big cores meant for heavy tasks and little, more power-efficient cores meant for lighter loads, and it's Intel's attempt at fighting ARM's ongoing incursion into the desktop market. But as I was just saying, if the rest of the world is transitioning to ARM, Intel might be stuck dancing by themselves in the middle of the dance floor after everyone else has gone to the after party. Like a severed limb. D Regardless, we won't be seeing Alder Lake until after the launch of Intel's 11th gen processors, an announcement for which is apparently happening on September 2nd, so Intel's got some time to rework their strategy, if necessary. You're gonna meet a lot of quick bits in this life. All of them, delicious. British chip designer Graphcore, who sounds like the evil nemesis of ARM or something, has unveiled the Colossus MK2, a massive server processor for AI applications similar to NVIDIA's A100 machine they unveiled earlier this year. A doomsday device. <laughs> but while the A100 has 54 billion transistors, this guy has 59.4 billion, meaning it is now the world's largest processor. Now it remains to be seen whether NVIDIA's tech is actually more powerful, so we're hoping to get it in the studio. Run some benchmarks, you know, crisis maybe. Graphcore, it's like, is that like nerd metal? Look at this graph! <laughs> A Windows Server vulnerability named SIGRED has been discovered by Checkpoint Research that has lain dormant in Windows DNS systems for 17 years. The bug is wormable, meaning the infection in one machine could easily spread through an entire network. And these aren't the cool kind of worms that you can use to freak out the other kids in the class. You're such a weirdo. If you're running Windows Server, get the patch, which is available now. After initially agreeing to a limited rollout of Huawei networking equipment, the UK has now announced a ban on 5G gear built by the Chinese giant. American sanctions on Huawei, which forced revisions of the company's supply chain, reportedly made it difficult for UK officials to certify the equipment's safety. Huawei 4G equipment will be kept in use though, so don't worry, Papa Xi is still watching. He loves you very much. And honey. <laughs> and he loves honey. Can't, your mind. can't get enough. No. <laughs> <laughs> Apple has dodged a hefty fine after a European court ruled that the company's practice of routing funds through Ireland to avoid paying taxes is perfectly legal. So Tim Apple, I guess, can still hop on over and cradle his pot of gold among the wide flowers. It's a magical place, Ireland. I've never been, but I will be. When? What do you mean? Dawn? No, someday. And a lot of people think of robots as unfeeling machines, but Singaporean researchers have used Intel's neuromorphic chip, Loihi, 
to develop artificial skin for robots that can detect touch 1,000 times faster than human skin. So not only will robots be able to feel, they'll be able to feel way better than us, but it also means they'll be 1,000 times more vulnerable to tickling. So that's how they'll win when they rise up against us. Not today, robot! And I'm rising up against this episode continuing. It must end. Come back on Friday for more tech news. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go nap. I'm so tired. I'm exhausted. Thank <laughs> you.